Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this one is a little bit different. We're not looking at a trick. We're going to be looking at my favourite colour change. Okay, this is the one I love. This is the one I do the most. This is my go-to colour change. Hopefully you like it. I might get people who might love it, but I might get some people who may hate it because it's a little bit angly. It's a little bit tricky, but I think if you put the effort in, you put the work in, you've got a god of a colour change. So all that being said, let me show you the colour change. Okay, so here it is guys. I was just going to show you the colour change, okay? But I thought, let me do a pick a card and do a colour change that way so you can see what it looks like properly. You get a better understanding. And it's not that one where you do this. I'm not going to cheat. It's not that one, the easy one. This one's pretty tricky. So a card to get selected. So for example, this one. Hopefully you guys can see the card. I'll leave it sticking out just like so and push it in so it's all nice and fair. And like I said, I'm not going to find a card. I'm going to use the Queen of Spades to find the card. So all you do is go in now, and it changes to the Six of Spades. And then from there, you can go into any routine. You could do an Ambitious, and you can snap your fingers, and the Six of Spades comes to the top, and so on. But it was just that colour change I wanted to share with you guys, because it looks super, super cool. So all that being said, let me show you how this works. Okay, so here is the tutorial of this colour change. And guys, this is a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to show you how the colour change works first, okay? So what you have to do is get a double lift, okay? So I'm just going to get a simple double lift. And when you've got your double lift, you're going to slide the card to the right, okay? So there's two cards here. And what you're going to do is... You're going to clip the card between your pinky and ring finger right here. And what I mean by that is this. So if you watch closely, I'm going to clip the cards, okay? But my thumb is going to pull this card back. So I'm in this position, okay? So this is the position you're in. Then you're going to grab the cards like so. Okay, I'm going to extend my index finger so you can see. And what you're going to do is the right hand, so your left hand is going to push this card so it aligns when you dribble, okay? So let me get into that position again. So I'm here. Obviously, at our angle, it looks terrible, but you saw how cool it looked <laughs> during the performance. I have my index finger curled on top, okay? I'm not pushing no pressure on it. It's just resting on top. And I don't think you're going to see this, but what's going to happen is these fingers are going to push that card in when I dribble. So if you do that at speed, you'll see what it will look like. So you can see the tennis, they will see the tennis spades, and then you dribble, and it changes. Let me get a better contrast, okay? So let's use a two and a six. So you're in this position, and then you're going to dribble and push in, okay, again. So I push in first, then I dribble. Okay, remember that. So we'll go through this in just a second again. So you're here, your basic your thing, your fingers are going to push that card in while you're dribbling the cards. And again, to get into that position, is you're going to do a double lift. You're going to bring the card to the right. Okay, and I hold both cards with my thumb. I'm going to grab the cards like so. And my left thumb is going to pull that card back. So I'm in this position. Then this hand is going to go down to the right hand side. So all they're seeing, all they can see in their view is just this two of hearts and probably the pip. And that is it. They're not going to see this card. It is pretty angly, so make sure you do it in front of a mirror. And then from there, my, my fingers are going to push this card in while I'm dribbling. And the card changes. So at speed, it will look like that. Okay, I'm guessing you don't have to dribble. I bet you could just do something like this. But I think with that dribble, it eliminates you like doing anything funny. Like it looks like you just drop the card, you dribble on the card and it changes. So now how I put into a routine was you get a card selected. 
So for example, the queen of clubs, you control that card anywhere you wish. So if you've got a break, so the queen's here, you've got a break and you can just cut the cards so it's at the top. Then from there, you're going to do your double lift. You can do a Stuart, you could do a pinky count, you can do a push off or just lift up two cards and do get a double, turn it over, say it's not their card. Then you can get into that position where, and as well, I'll give you a little tip what I do. When this, when my right hand comes over, I will pull back with my left thumb as soon as my, as soon as my hand comes over so I can clip the card where it needs to be clipped. And it's just clipped between the flesh of your ring and pinky. Okay, it's just right here. And then that card is going to come down and you're going to, and it does feel weird. This is the position you need. It feels weird. Okay, if you're not used to it, it will feel weird at first. And then your left fingers are going to come inside this part of your hand. Okay, and push that card in when you dribble. And again, at speed, it will look like this, just like so. It will, it will take a little bit of practice, okay? Do it in front of the mirror, film yourself doing it, because it looks, honestly, it looks like CGI. It looks so cool. I, I did this at the Magic Shop uh, not long ago, and he just couldn't believe what just happened, because it happened so visually. So you're in that position, that comes here, and you're going to push with your fingers like this. And dribble the cards if you cannot dribble but you can do this move what you can do is just do what I said so just get a jerk when you give that jerk action just push in so it'll look like instantly it, it will change so again I'll do the jerk action you get into the position so it wasn't a free and they might even look up at you as soon as they look up at you just do the move and you go what about the Queen and it will just change and then because obviously now you've got a double you can get into an ambitious card routine. So watch the queen, we'll place it onto the bottom, you snap, and it travels all the way to the top. So you can go on and do absolutely anything from a double lift. Because when you're in a double lift, you're in such a powerful position to do what you wish. But that, my friend, is the tutorial of the effect, of the color change, shall we say. So one last time at speed, it will look like that. That's it. From there to there, push, dribble. That is it. Okay, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, a beautiful, in my opinion, the most beautiful color change in the world. I love it, I really do. I just think it looks so magical. You dribble the cards and boom, it changes. Honestly, I think it's more for magicians who like it than a layman. Like I have done it to laymen. They're like, what the, what, you didn't expect it. But you do it to a magician, you, you still get the same reaction. I did this at the magic shop about three weeks ago uh, to a kid called Alfie. Fantastic. Honestly, he's like unreal with cards. And you were like, what? Like, do that again, do that again. And I showed it him and he loved it. So I know a, a few people are going to like it, like, like I said, but some people aren't going to like it because it's a little bit knacky and a bit angly. But if you are wanting more hard and knacky, cool tricks, let me know down in the description because I can do them for you. But I know there's people out there who's wanting super easy self-working tricks. Leave that with me, my friends, because I will do that as well. But on that note, guys, you know what to do. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn my notification bells on. I'll see you next time.